Yellowstone's mantle melting anomaly, a magma reservoir system residing beneath Yellowstone, the supervolcano as we know. Eruptions at Yellowstone occur once or twice every million years, they said, while lava flows are more common. But an eruption would be, of course, catastrophic. Anyone worried about Yellowstone's volcano eruption can rest assured the U.S. Geological Survey is keeping close tabs on the caldera, and it says the chances are very remote. Mike Poland, scientist in charge of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, revealed that there is a mantle melting anomaly deep beneath the surface which feeds a couple of magma chambers. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. You'll find at least five videos that are sensitive or maybe centered on some platforms. They will be beneficial and informative for you. You'll find the link below in the description box. Thank you for your support. He says, one is pretty deep, it's 15 miles or so beneath the surface, and it's full of very low viscosity magma called basalt, which is apparently the kind of stuff that spews out of Hawaii's volcanoes. Its low viscosity flows very easily, and in turn Yellowstone's basaltic magma body feeds a higher level reservoir of rhyolite, which is a sticky magma prone to be more explosive, and this sits about three miles beneath the surface in parts of Yellowstone. And Pola noted that one should not think of these chambers as gigantic magma bodies that are just full of roiling, boiling liquid material. He says, in fact, most of this is solid. The upper reservoir is only about 5 to 15 percent molten, and the lower reservoir is only about 2 to 5 percent molten. Poland says it's a mushy, plasticky zone with little bits of melt in the middle. That's what the Yellowstone magma system looks like, and this is what drives the hazards of the region, he says. Of course, the most well-known hazards are the big explosions, meaning the super eruptions, and that's what everyone is talking about. He also warned that a super eruption of Yellowstone, like the ones that already happened 631,000 years ago, the largest one, would be very devastating to the central part of the U.S. He said, we've done simulations on how ash would fall and blanket much of the U.S., this is probably what happened when this caldera first formed 631,000 years ago. Poland noted that the chances, though, of this sort of event are very remote, as they occur once or twice every million years. Now, what happens more often are lava flows, he says. Since the last big Yellowstone explosion 631,000 years ago, there have been about two dozen lava flows, and you can see them here in these different colors, he said. The initial pulse of lava flow activity was 500 600,000 years ago. We had these orange bits of lava come out and then there was another pulse of activity that occurred about 170,000 to 70,000 years ago. That gave us all of this pink shaded lava here, he said. And since uh, the 70,000 year ago eruption, we had another 80 eruptions after that. This is by Sputnik News. Andre Dergalin, please leave your comments and thank you for your support.